This is Puppets by Arlie. I'm Arlie, and this is how to make dowel and string arms for a marionette puppet. I am building the three little pigs, and so I have these mini little pig torsos that I've made arms out of just dowels, one inch dowels, and string through them. So let's see how it's done. Okay, we're about to make some dowel and string joints here. Now on my pattern, uh, this is one inch dowel, and we'll have to make like a right angle on the elbow. And uh, we'll also have to make taper on top of the shoulder. So I have my torso made. And here's my little pig head, paper mache head. And I got some feet started, no legs yet. And then these are my pig hooves with one inch dowel. And then here are the forearms, and these is just pieces that I measured the length on this pattern and then cut out. And what we need to do is we need to taper it so that it will kind of lay against the body. First, we're going to make an elbow crook. So, I am going to get my feet. I'm going to make my pig hooves face forward so you can see the little triangle facing forward. And then I'm going to mark the center. So I've turned it 90 degrees. And I'm going to draw a little right angle. And put that against my other forearm. Find the center, draw a little right angle. I guess this this isn't called the forearm. This would be called the, the bicep. And then we'll draw a little right angle. So there needs to be some left on the other side so that there's a stop when the arm goes straight. Okay. So we got that. We're gonna go to the bandsaw and cut this out. And for these little pieces like this, I like to take a pair of pliers and rip it and put it underneath the plier, or put it underneath the bandsaw holding the pliers. Now we got our inside of the arm, the elbow cut out. Let's lay it out here. I'm gonna move this little pelvis. Next, we need to make a taper this arm so that it will lay onto the torso at an angle. So with the front of the elbow crick facing forward, mark the center of the bicep. This isn't quite a right angle, this is a little longer. And that will 
be the, the shoulder. And this gets a little confusing. So I'm going to mark on the inside of these little elbows one place where I want the string to go. Shoulders ready to go. Oops. Remember the remember the sh the um, elbow has the crick facing forward. Next, what's going to happen is we're going to make holes for the string to go through so that it goes through the top of this. And we're also gonna make another string hole through the top of the shoulder into this torso area. We're gonna do it by drilling holes. First thing, I'm going to drill two holes at the top of my torso. And then this will cause a lot of movement because they'll be slack in the string on the shoulder. And try to get this as close to the top of the shoulder as you can. And I've picked a, a hole, a drill bit that's uh, on the larger side, much larger than the string I'm going to be using because I find it helps for rigging up the rope through here to have slightly bigger holes. We got our shoulder holes in the torso. Next, we'll do the holes all through the arms. I'm switching over to a drill bit that's going to be the size of a yarn bobbin that I'm going to use to string the string through the joints. First, let's do this one little hoof. I need to drill one side from the top coming out in the back of the forearm. And I'm going to do it uh, two times each side. All right. Two little holes from the top coming out the back of my pig hoof. Do that on the other arm. Next, do that same elbow forearm to go through the top of the bicep and again it's going to come out the back and this can come out higher up because it's longer there's the elbow with the two holes at the back and the strings that we're gonna, or the holes we're gonna put the string through. Last, you're going to find the shoulder with the holes. And you're going to do two holes on the outside of the shoulder.
Here's my torso with the shoulder and the elbow. Then get all of these holes done on the other arm. Let's put our Torso with arms. I have a yarn bobbin here. Thread that yarn bobbin with, and this is a uh, nylon rope, nylon thread. You can buy it at hardware stores. It's uh, really strong, but it's also really soft and flexible. But you could use any type of strong, thin rope that you trust. Now I'm gonna take one arm, one whole arm here, and this is gonna be a big loop through the whole thing. But of course, all of this will be covered by a costume but I will design it so that the knot is farther up on the arm so it's easier to be hidden by the costume. So, take your yarn bobbin, thread through. And then like you're making a big stitch, thread back through. Then, now I have made this mistake before, so don't make this mistake. You must create some slack in between these two pieces of joint. If you make it super tight, your arm will not bend. So, Take your arm and bend it all the way to its full joint stretch. So in the case of this elbow, it's going to be all the way turned. And then make the length of that string the length that you use. Sometimes hard. I can't find it a little bit. And then a bunch of nuts. Be sure you're maintaining that that flexibility in the joint there. And of course, this knot will get blue, wood glue on it. This knot, I should talk. I always do like four knots. All right. Oh, well, here it is. Let's see how it goes. All right. Looking, looking good and flexible there. Let's do the other one. Now I'm sure you've noticed why my design, puppet design, usually favors costuming covering up structural 
body parts because I am a much stronger seamstress than I am woodworker. And you know, play to your strengths. There's no shame in that. Good. Next, we go through the shoulder. Now this one, I like to put the knot on the inside of the torso. So be sure that your neck swoop is the same side. The elbow crick is the front, remember? So be sure you definitely have a right and left arm at this point. All right, so some of these holes, my yarn bobbin doesn't fit through. So we're going to have to do some creative things. But you know, that's, that's what it's all about. In this instance, I'm going to take my yarn bobbin. I'm going to put it eye side first, not pointy side, but eye side, and take the rope out. <clears throat> then, let's see which which arm was for which side. This one, and thread again. Go through one shoulder hole, go back through the other shoulder. So I'm going eye side first. Look at that, I'm able to get through. All right. So we are threaded up. Now, if you were to pull it tight and knot it, you wouldn't get any movement. So, think of all the movement that it has to do. And I think the biggest movement it would probably do would be arms up. So, put it so the shoulder is at an arms up position, and then that's where you can tie your knot with that length.
All right, so I've tied several knots and the arm has full ability to move around and move all the way up. All right. Now we got a little arms happening. Next, blue, 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 these knots. Here's my very classy um, pile of wood glue here that I've been working with today. Especially those internal knots. And get the back of the elbow knot too. Go ahead, let that dry. And that's how you make arms with dowels and string. Thanks for watching.